Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guy video on problem solving with integration, displacement, velocity, acceleration on a Casio Classwiz FX991EX. Let's take a look at the question. A particle travels in a straight line such that its acceleration a in meters per second at time t seconds is given by a equals 6t plus 4. We also know that when t equals 2 seconds, the displacement s is 10 meters, and when t equals 4 seconds, the displacement is 106 meters. We have to find a the displacement when t equals 5 seconds, and b the velocity when t equals 3 seconds. So at present, we just have an equation for the acceleration of this particle, a equals 6t plus 4. And we also know some bits of information about the displacement when t is a certain time. So in this case, two seconds and four seconds, we know something about the displacement. So what will be helpful for us is to be able to get an equation which represents the displacement of the particle. In addition, we're also going to get an equation which represents the velocity, which is going to be useful for part b. If we have an equation for the acceleration, then if we integrate this particular equation, then we can find an equation for the velocity of the particle. So let's do that first. So V is going to be the integral of A with respect to T. So if we integrate 6T plus 4, we get 3T squared plus 4T plus a constant of integration. Now at present we have no information about the velocity at a particular time. So at this time, we can't actually find the value of this constant c. We're just going to have to leave it as c for now and then think about the next stage, which will be integrating the equation for the velocity a second time, and this time finding a displacement. So we know that displacement equals the integral of the velocity with respect to t. So let's integrate again, and we'll just use the constant c Hopefully the information that we've got on the displacement of the particle at certain times is going to help us to find that. So let's integrate once more. So we integrate 3t squared plus 4t plus c. That's going to give us t cubed plus 2t squared plus ct. We need to multiply that constant by t plus a second constant. So I'm going to just going to use k to represent this. You can choose a different letter, but don't choose C. We've already got that represented in our equation. So equation for the displacement is T cubed plus 2T squared plus CT plus K. Now let's take a look at the information that we know about the displacement of the particle at these two times, two seconds and four seconds. So we know at two seconds, the displacement S is equal to 10. So what we can do is we can substitute those values into the displacement equation. So essentially we'll have 10 equals 2 cubed plus 2 times 2 squared plus 2 times c plus k. And we just need to simplify that. So I'm just going to add 2 cubed plus 2 times 2 squared together. That gives me 16. And if I take that away from 10, I'm going to get negative 6. So I can simplify the equation to 2c plus k equals minus 6. Now at present, this has two unknowns, but what we can do is we can use the second value of t and the displacement that we've got together and form a pair of simultaneous equations, a linear simultaneous equations that we will solve using the equation solver on the class with. So let's input our second time and displacement. We know 106 equals four cubed plus two times four squared plus four c plus k. And let's simplify that then four cubed plus two times four squared equals 96 and then 106 minus 96 that's going to give us 10 so more simply we know that 4c plus k equals 10 so now we have our two linear simultaneous equations we're going to go to the simultaneous equation solver so it's menu and then down to equation function one for simultaneous equations, and we've got two unknowns, so press two. Now we don't have it in terms of C and K, we have it in terms of X and Y. So X will represent our C and Y will represent our K. So let's input the first one, two C, so therefore two X plus one K plus one Y equals negative six. And then we have four X plus one Y equals 10, representing the second equation. Once we're done, press equals to confirm, 
And here we have our x value of eight, which means that our c value is eight, so c equals eight. And press it once more, we've got a y value of minus 22, negative 22, which means our k value is minus 22. So let's now complete our equation for the displacement of the particle. t cubed plus 2t squared plus 8t minus 22. And we're in a position now to answer part A of the question. Find the displacement when t equals 5 seconds. So we have our equation here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, for convenience, store 5 in as my x. I'm going to use x rather than t. So store five as x and then i'm just going to write the equation out as it's written but substituting x for the t so x cubed plus 2x squared plus 8x minus 22 press equals and here we have our solution 193 it's 193 meters you are of course free to just input the values in this so input a five five cubed plus two times five squared if you wish this is just an alternative way of doing it and if we then rewind Equation for the velocity, we now know c is 8, so it's 3t squared plus 4t plus 8 is our equation for the velocity. So I'm going to change my x value. I'm just going to use x again. You can use another letter or just input the value. x I'm going to store in as 3, and then I'm going to just type out the equation of the velocity, x rather than t, so 3x squared plus 4x plus 8. Press equals, and here we have the solution to that, so 47 meters per second for the velocity of the particle at three seconds so there we go we use the class whiz to help us out there the simultaneous equation solver and storing in values to find out missing constants with the second derivative that we had there of the acceleration to represent the displacement and then we went back to calculate the velocity too but that's it for this video don't forget to subscribe for future videos and i will see you next time on the calculator guide